I'm Colonel Phil Ryan, West Point Class of 1992. As the commander of the 160th Special Operations Aviation Regiment, it's an honor for our team to represent the one million strong Army team today, along with our families, civilians, and industry partners at the 2017 Lockheed Martin Armed Forces Bowl. Night Stalkers don't quit. Go Army. Into Fort Worth, Texas for the 2017 Lockheed Martin Armed Forces Bowl as part of Capital One Bowl Mania. The Blackhawk helicopters taking us in to Amon G. Carter Stadium for a fantastic matchup of two outstanding ground games. 10 and 2 San Diego State out of the Mountain West and the Army Black Knights from the United States Military Academy at 9 and 3. Adam Amin, Mac Brown, Paul Carcatero with you today. We have a great matchup. This is a rarity to see 19 combined wins in a great bowl matchup like this. And we start with the ground game. The Army Black Knights with a phenomenal season, and it all starts with their fine quarterback, Ahmad Bradshaw. This guy's tough. He's fast. He's got great ball security. Army has lost four fumbles all year, Adam, which is unbelievable. But this guy's powerful. He takes his football team and he puts them on his back. This guy, one of the best players in the country. Leads all quarterbacks in the country in rushing. He's the all-time single season rushing leader for Army. And on the other side, we have the number one rusher in the country. Why do NFL scouts love Rashad Penny so much? Well, he didn't get all the awards and he didn't care. He said, that's not what defines me. This guy's bigger than you thought. He's 220 pounds, he's six foot. He's really fast. They don't time him in the 40, but nobody catches him. So we know he's fast, and he gets most of his yards after contact. I think this guy's going to be a big time back in the NFL. He is very powerful, deceptively big, is Rashad Penny. He comes in with a streak of four consecutive 200-plus rushing yard games. If he does it again today, he will tie the FBS record already set by three other players, among them Marcus Allen and Barry Sanders. For more on this matchup, we head down to the field and join Paul Carcaterra. Well, Adam, San Diego State coach Rocky Long is embracing this opportunity today. Feels when you play Army, it's not a national stage. It's a worldwide stage because of the Academy's reach. But he's also confident because he has Rashad Penny, who has insane skills and is here today to make a statement. Last year, Leonard Fournette and Christian McCaffrey sat out the bowl games. That never crossed Penny's mind. He wasn't a Doak Walker finalist, the award given to the nation's top running back, and wasn't invited to New York for the Heisman Trophy ceremony. He told me awards don't define him, but today he can show everyone what he's made of. And Mac and Adam, from a versatility standpoint, this guy has it all. We're gonna see the number one rusher in Penny against the number one rushing attack in the country. And speaking of which, Rocky Long, the head coach of San Diego State, very famous for the 3-3-5 defense. He's gonna have to make some adjustments against this Army option attack. He is, now he's eight and one against the academies. He and Jeff Munkin have fought each other before when he was at New Mexico and Jeff was at Navy as an assistant, but this guy gets it. He was an option quarterback in college. He knows what to do to stop the option offense. He's had 17 practices. They've been live. They've taken on live cuts, but they're going to give a lot of different looks today to Army because they know that Army is so good when they know where you are to call the right play at the right time to make yards. And by the way, if you want to avoid Rashad Penny, you got Jawan Washington, who also has a couple of kick return touchdowns in his career. Well, if I'm Army number one, I don't kick it to him. I give it to somebody else. You've already said enough, Adam. They're kicking it right down to it. <laughs> Here comes Penny to start off the day. And he'll get chopped down shy of the 30-yard line. Christian Chapman's first career start was the 2015 Mountain West title game. What a job he did thrust into that role and he won the offensive MVP honor. So now, 29 straight starts later, he's got a chance to break the San Diego State record for wins. First pass is behind 
Fred Trevilian. So it'll be second down and 20. It'll be interesting to watch Jeff Horton's play selection today, too. He's got Penny, maybe the best rusher in the country. And then he comes back, and he's been about 61% run, 39% or 39 pass on first down. So it'll be interesting to watch his mix. It's Penny in motion. A throwback to the fullback, Nick Vaughn, and nothing there. Great job by the cornerback, Elijah Riley. Stopping Vaughn after a short game. Like you would think that Navy defense plays hard. Those guys will get after you. We spent some time with both teams yesterday. Uh, excuse me, the Army. I, I sure can't call this team that name. They'd be <laughs> bad. They just beat them. Uh, the Army defense plays so hard, and they play smart. So now we're sitting in a third down and really long. I think you'll see them back off and play more coverage. Got one high safety playing man underneath. And busting it open is Rashad Penny. Look at the breakaway speed of the future NFL draft pick. Touchdown, Rashad Penny, 81 yards. You see why the folks like this kid so much when he hits the open field untouched. And that's why you're in trouble if you're Army. You're playing coverage. They're throwing those guys around. He breaks the line of scrimmage. Great block by 89 Trevelyan. And this guy just outruns everybody. That's why he has a great future in the NFL and one of the best backs in college football. John Barron with the extra point. And San Diego State with an impressive start behind Penny. This is also a reason, Adam, that the Army coaches told us they have to keep their offense on the field and not let this guy have many touches because they don't think they can stop him. And obviously, he was their focus in that first drive, and he's already had two long runs. Coates. And Asbury were both in the area for it, and it ends up in the hands of Glenn Coates. He gets hit shy of the 20. So we just saw the leading rusher in the country in Rashad Penny for San Diego State. Now we're going to get a chance to see the leading rusher among quarterbacks in the country. The single season Army rushing leader with over 1,500 yards, a senior out of Chicago in Ahmad Bradshaw. And we see early, San Diego State's decided to go with a four linebacker defense, not their normal nickel look, just to try to stop this option offense. Bradshaw. He's in yardage on first down. Adam Bradshaw, the quarterback's going to touch it probably around 25 times today. That was simply an I-formation lead play. And when they have two lead blockers, he just turned up inside like a tailback. So Rocky Long told us this isn't as much triple option as you would think. There is some double option involved. Fans need to understand they try to get three yards per play. They're going to go for third and short and fourth and short every time, regardless of where they are on the field, and they want to keep the ball. Four fumbles all year. Very few penalties. These guys are going to take the long drives and keep the ball away from San Diego State. Jeff Munkin, when he was facing Rocky Long, as an assistant at Navy against New Mexico. Once had a 26-play drive against Rocky Long's defense and took over an entire quarter. 
So no stranger to the long drives. They've had eight 13 plus play drives this year, which is just amazing. Shows their discipline, shows their toughness. But if anybody can stop it, Rocky Long can do it because eight and one against the academies, mainly because he knows how to stop this offense. We said he was the option quarterback in college, so he feels like he's been looking at this offense for a long time. They're going to have five or six around the line of scrimmage every time, four linebackers in the game. Strong run, first down, Andy Davidson into San Diego State territory. Cameron Kelly saved a longer run than 12. This offense is about the quarterback run and the fullback dive. They show an option look, and they hit creases. There may not be some big holes up in there, but San Diego State was afraid if you get upfield, you leave a crease. If you get too far out of your gap, you leave a crease right there. We saw the fullback finding a simple crease. Right back to Davidson. About four on that play. I thought, Adam, when our coaches used to talk about repeat successful plays, that's what this bunch does. It's like 50 first dates. You can watch it. <laughs> they put you to sleep on defense because they're going to run the same play over and over again, but they're going to run it better than you defend it. I was curious when you were watching last night. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it's like deja vu. I mean, it's, there's it's a very it. limited playbook for Army. They just do those plays very well. Coach Mongan told us they had nine runs today for this game. First down, Ahmad Bradshaw. Down inside the 35-yard line. They're sitting here with uh, formation to the field. They've got motion into the boundary. Again, it's a loaded lead option. Bradshaw sees the crease, turns up in for an easy first down. Army's doing exactly what Coach Monken wants them to do right now. Big burst for Andy Davidson down to the 22 yard line. Another fullback. Another fullback dive with the trap up inside. Simple quick trap. Left guard traps the right three technique. He squirts it up inside for another first down. Davidson, one of those excellent fullbacks. Now he gets a breather, and Darnell Wolfo comes into the game. There he goes. Running into Ron Smith at the 19. Trying to make three yards because they're all four downs. And if they can do that, they stay on the field. Another thing that's going to be interesting today is San Diego State had 17 days to practice. Army, because of finals, the Navy game being after the championship, only had six days, and they had to mix their practice right in the middle of their finals. So in a weird way, will Army be more fresh at the end of this game than San Diego State because they had less time on the field? Bradshaw with the touchdown. Ahmad Bradshaw capping off an excellent drive for the Black Knights. Simple loaded option to the left side. Motion. 22, the fullback comes out, takes the first blocker. Bradshaw is so quick. He has good instincts. He has good patience. He plants the foot and gets in the end zone for the score. These guys are so good at what they do. Blake Wilson ties it at seven. Penny and Bradshaw, the boys we came to see, each with a touchdown in the first. Seven up here at the Lockheed Martin Armed Forces Bowl. Ahmad Bradshaw, Rashad Penny, the two guys that we really were excited to see today, each with a touchdown through four series. And Rashad Penny is back to return for San Diego State. Mountain West Conference Offensive and Special Teams Player of the Year. Jawan Washington is no slouch either. He's got a couple of kick return touchdowns in his career. 
Jawan is no slouch, but out of those two, I can't get right. <laughs> Fair <laughs> point, Becky. <laughs> Shifty move of Rashad Penny gets him three yards on first down. And the tackle was made at the line of scrimmage by James Gibson, number two, the safety. So it shows you at some point they've got to try to get a one-on-one -on -one shot deep, probably to Michael Holder. Good play by Gibson. Eight guys within 10 yards of the ball. Loading up to potentially stop Penny. A toss into the flat for Quest Truxton. He's at the 41 yard line. It's a good call by Jeff Horton. You're sitting there with play action and when you do that, you're gonna have all eyes eight at least sets of eyes on the tailback and then it gives him a chance to have one-on-one -on -one coverage outside easy throw for the first down you like chapman he's a game manager he's going to protect the ball and throw to the right guys at quarterback this is a give to washington on the little jet sweep and jawan washington inside the army 35 yard line but penalty markers come in late. There are three fouls at the end of the play. Unsportsmanlike conduct, offense number 67. Has unsportsmanlike conduct, number 67 for two fouls. Number 67 is disqualified for the remainder of the contest. Unsportsmanlike conduct, Army, for the head coach, that's his first for the game. The foul's offset, first down, San Diego State. Antonio Rosales is really making his first appearance since mid-October, so he was chomping at the bit to be in this game, and that's a cheap shot, a very late hit, unnecessary, but that's certainly one. State. Rosales is on his way off with two personal foul penalties. Ron Snodgrass just also announced that Jeff Munkin did not get tagged for an unsportsmanlike. That was actually against one of the Army assistant coaches. So Munkin is clean for the time being. And that assistant's in trouble. Yeah. That's a huge penalty. He needs to keep his mouth shut and stay back and let the head coach do the politicking with the officials on the boundary. That's why it's still at the 32 yard line. The penalties offsetting. Chapman goes down after maybe a half yard gain, and it's Alex Ackerman who made the stop. Excellent linebacker. You've really got to like Chapman's decision making. They said he's a game management guy. He knows where to throw the ball. He's not going to turn it over. Three touchdown passes, only three interceptions on the year for him. But that's the third penalty with uh, San Diego State they can't keep hurting themselves because that's uh, one thing that Army tries to use against you. That's the end of the first quarter. Time out on the field. Sort of what we expected. Two of the top rushing attacks in the country each put up 120 yards on the ground. Both Penny and Bradshaw have a touchdown through one in Fort Worth. Touchdown number two for Rashad Penny today. What a start to the final collegiate game for Rashad Penny. You got to give credit to this young offensive line from San Diego State. That was Tyler Romer, freshman All-American, number 74 at left tackle. It's mostly freshman, red-shirted freshman. It's a power play to the left. Penny has a, a crease. That runs everybody for the score. And Rashad Penny has now set the single season San Diego State rushing record. He says he and DJ Pumphrey still talk just about every day. 
Donnell said he's so excited for Rashad Penny to break his record. And Rashad told us he was hoping to do it early. How about two touchdowns on the first handful of series? Adam, I'm so impressed with Rashad Penny. This guy's big, but he has patience. He has vision, and then he plants that foot, and he has such a burst. He's a powerful runner, runs low, runs behind his pads, but he has the unique combination of enough speed when he gets in the open field, the guy can take it for the distance. Paul Carcatero told us about it at the top. He had no thoughts about skipping out on a bowl game. He said he owed one more game to his teammates and to the program that gave him an opportunity to get to the next level. He's going to be playing at the next level, no doubt about it. Very unselfish player. Yep. Mac, you saw this team four years ago. You had a chance to speak to Jeff Munkin right around when he took over at West Point. And you understand the turnaround and the work that it took to turn this program around. Now here they are beating Navy back-to-back -back years, winning the Commander and Chiefs Trophy, and they've won 17 games the last two seasons. Yeah, I'd never met Coach Munkin. He called me and said, will you come up and speak to my high school coaches, talk to our staff, and he's done a tremendous job over this four-year period. What do you think the most impressive thing has been? I think his discipline, his toughness. It's so hard to take a team that's 2-10 and ten without any confidence and without leadership and make them believe. They had a 14-game losing streak to Navy with all that pressure. And this guy has taken a program. He's put his mark on it. He has a philosophy that fits perfectly at the academy. And he's made these kids believe in each other and themselves in the program. This is a typical Army drive. The number one rushing attack in the country using multiple backs, churning yardage all the way into San Diego State Territory. You know, we spent a long time yesterday and last night talking to the kids at the academy and, and the coaches, and they know who they are. Having an identity and believing your identity is something that's really important. Both of these coaches have established this with their programs. They're not selfish. They don't talk about we need to throw it more. They know who they are. There goes Davidson muscling his way to the sticks and beyond. Still going all the way inside the 30 yard line. One of those nine plays trap inside. You've got Bolin pulling across trapping the three technique fullback straight up inside. And what we're seeing is we're seeing a San Diego State defense that's on the field too much, and they're wearing down some. They've already lost their nose guard, uh, Sergio Phillips. They've got some young guys in there. Your nose guard is so important in stopping this offense. Right now, San Diego State's defense in trouble. The forward progress was stopped, according to the officials, at the 36. Hard hit on Ahmad Bradshaw, and he was able to get back on top of a loose ball. It's so unusual that he fumbles it that everybody in the crowd went, oh. It's a rare of rare sights to see Ahmad Bradshaw lose a football. Loaded option again, he turns up, and the safety, 33, Parker Baldwin, stripped the ball, had a chance to get it on the ground, but Army jumps back on the ball. Entering this game, nearly 700 rushes between all of the backs for Army, and only four times had they lost a fumble. Unbelievable. Yeah. Bradshaw. Run out by Tariq Thompson. Tariq Thompson so impressive, just a freshman there from San Diego. They feel like he'll be a superstar. This is just a simple quarterback follow. You've hit the fullback so many times, you hit the fullback dive up inside. You've got Walker, the slot back, like an isolation play. Quarterback follows it up inside for an easy gain and a first down. These guys do the same thing over and over and over. They just do it better than you do. What's so amazing about watching this Army offense, it looks like there's nothing there. Yeah. And the fullbacks are patient. The quarterback's patient. He kind of slides. And that's when they're talking about hitting the crease. And you look up, and it's second down and five. 
you said it earlier it's not like big gaping holes are opening up every single play for this army rushing attack it is a very precise offense it takes advantage of every small crease and gap Wolfolk muscling for the touchdown Touchdown of the year for Darnell Wolfolk. It's a great block by number three, Jordan Ashbury. Comes on the inside. It's a seal block. He picks off the linebacker, and Wolfolk runs right by him. And what we're seeing, San Diego State scoring fast. Army's taking their time, and it's wearing down the San Diego State defense. 30 runs, 177 yards rushing, two touchdowns. This is exactly what Army wanted to do to start this ball game. Mac made the suggestion that our sideline man, Paul Carcaterra, should join in on the push-ups with the superintendent of the United States Military Academy. I'm just expecting to see. Yep, just I mean, we're, team. It's, it's talk about teamwork here, so <laughs> but that's what that crew does, and another touchdown means more push-ups. Knotted up at 14 here at the Lockheed Martin Armed Forces Bowl. Short kick this time, and from the 15, it's Washington. Army's doing a good job kicking it away from Penny. Great job by these two programs going down to the Children's Hospital while they were here in Fort Worth, Texas. One of the great joys I know back for you as a coach was seeing the community service that you saw your players get involved in. San Diego State finds Fred Trevilian close to the sticks right near the 40-yard line. Moments ago, Man, this never gets old. Commander Emmanuel Rodriguez surprising his young family. A video board message moments ago. The family was out in the end zone to take a look at the video message. They turned around and there was Emmanuel there to visit them and greet them. And very emotional moment. Part of it has been great festive moments here at the Armed Forces Bowl. And Penalty marker thrown with some of the shoving and pushing. Ryan Pope getting involved there. Check the marker. Back to the play. Sportsmanlike conduct. Offense. Number 77 pushing a player off the pile. 15 yard penalty. Second down. That's Let's number 77's first unsportsmanlike conduct foul. The fourth unsportsmanlike conduct foul against San Diego State already in this game. You cannot pull or push a player off the pile once a play has been whistled dead. Ball is Ryan Polk made the mistake. We were telling you about Commander Emmanuel Rodriguez moments ago. Let's go down to Paul Carcatero with Emmanuel and his family. A joyous moment to say the least and specialist Emmanuel Rodriguez, his beautiful family, wife Karen and three gorgeous children here. Emmanuel, I saw you in the tunnel prior to the moment when you were able to reunite with your family. What was going through your mind? I was just excited, couldn't wait, and uh, just thinking about how lucky I, I am to be here. Karen, when you were out on the field and you turned around and you saw your husband, describe that moment for us. Oh my gosh, it's undescribable. It was just good, nice feelings, and very happy for my daughter to share this Christmas with him. What are you looking forward to most with Christmas with Dad home? Well, he's actually my uncle. But oh, he's your uncle. Yeah, he's my uncle. But I'm actually happy that he's here back so to get the family reunited. To get the family reunited. And how about you, this Christmas that's coming up? What are you looking forward to most? Just spend, just spend time with my kids and wife and enjoy every second of it. You deserve it. Have a wonderful holiday to all of you. Thank, Thank you. So Thank, Thank you. you.
hard not to get emotional when stuff like that is right in front of your eyes. Great to see Manuel back. We appreciate his service, his and his family sacrifices, especially as we get set for this holiday week. Well, when we think about how many of our our military personnel will not be home for Christmas. And we thank them so much. One thing that this poll does so well to honor our military, especially those who make the ultimate sacrifice along with the families who do the same. Welcome back, sir. Thank you for your service. We talked about armies pounding the ball on offense, 30 plays. 177 yards, 17 minutes already compared to 15, 167, and 644. An Army has not had a play over 20 yards in this ballgame. They're just pounding, and those penalties have hurt so much with San Diego State because you lose your patience when you're playing this team, but that can matter here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you talked about just pounding on a defense. The yardage was very similar, and we're tied at 14. It's a close game. But we may see if this pace continues. That affects San Diego State's defense going forward. And this six minutes is key because Army gets the ball to start the second half. Right. If they go score now and get the ball and kill this six minutes, it puts a lot of pressure on San Diego State to start the second half. See, Coach Long's not very happy. Slumka, strong one to set up what I'm sure Army fans have seen a lot of this year, a third and very makeable situation. And it puts a lot of pressure on the offensive coaches and players at San Diego State because they start looking at the clock differently. You have to make first downs when you get on the field because you're not going to get the ball back. Long Army drives resulting in touchdowns that shoot up a lot of time off the clock. Tariq Thompson finally makes the stop, but another first down for Ahmad Bradshaw. Senior out of Chicago, Brooks Prep School, and then spent a year at the United States Military Academy Prep School. He's already set the single season Army rushing record, and in fact, has set the single season rushing record for any service academy player. Past Napoleon McCallum, who ran for nearly 1,600 yards in 1983 for Navy. Bradshaw has surpassed that already this year. And he has been described by Jeff Munkin as perfect for this offense. He really has a great grasp of how to run this thing. We've got to tell our fans now, they went four games without throwing a pass, even attempting one, and they won three of those games. Yep. And they haven't thrown a pass yet in this ball game. Now, we anticipate they will. But I'm not sure, Adam, if they, they had a long run, they might stop and fall down just because they want to kill the clock. <laughs> there is Slumka again. Every play, it just feels like three yards, four yards, three yards, four yards. They're so often on schedule. Exactly what Coach Monk and the Army staff want. Now you've got third and three with two downs to make it. You go fullback dive. You go quarterback on the corner. Lead option into the boundary. Easy first down. For Ahmad Bradshaw. And what we're seeing is missed tackles because you start getting tired. The loaded option into the bound, short motion. You've got 22, the fullback, leading up inside. Really good block. And I agree with Coach Monken. Ahmad Bradshaw is perfect for this offense because he has the patience to wait and see the opening. When he sees it, he plants the foot and slips up inside of it. That's really good penetration by Jay Henderson. Rare play for a loss. AV, we'll see you boys in just about a minute. 
On the move, it's Kel Walker. It's an inside the 10 yard line. Another first down for Ahmad Bradshaw, hit by Parker Baldwin. And this is the ideal drive for Army late in a half. Well, they just continue to run the loaded play where they've got the fullback up inside Holt, who's a great blocker, and then Bradshaw finds the crease. Slithering through Davidson for another Army touchdown. The Black Knights are in front. It's another great seal block from the slot outside. Kel Walker, you can see he comes down inside. He picks off the safety Lomax and the fullback sticks it in the end zone. It's amazing they've still got their three timeouts. They didn't panic. Uh, they're, they're down, excuse me, they got the two timeouts left, but they kept those in their pocket and they score with 5.55 drive, 13 plays, 53 yards. These guys took time off the clock, so San Diego State's not going to have a chance to score, and now they get the ball to start the second half. Go back to 6.13 on the clock. We came out of a commercial break, and Mac told you this is an important drive because Army can take it all the way down and they get the ball to start the third. That's essentially what Rocky Long just saw happen to his defense. So go to Washington on the short kick. And Jawan Washington could set something up. Jawan Washington for a touchdown! What an answer in special teams by the Aztecs. His third career kick return for a touchdown. He might not have Rashad Petty's numbers, but that has been quite the season for Jawan Washington. Uh, and the guy who made the best block, look at it, Rashad Penny, his teammate getting downfield in front of him. And when he gets to the end zone, the first guy to celebrate down there with him is the great running back, his cohort. That changes everything. Got the momentum back on one play. That is an absolutely monstrous play for San Diego State. We talked about his special team's abilities. Washington's a great player, but look at Penny. He's not worried about getting hurt. He knocks the guy on the ground, and then he moves on down the field to get another block to let his running back partner get in that end zone and then he celebrates with him. 78-yard return for a touchdown. Adnan Burke, Joey Galloway, Jesse Palmer. Boys, it's all yours. Happy Bowl season. Welcome back to the 2017 Lockheed Martin Armed Forces Bowl as part of Capital One Bowl Mania. And we've got a good one so far. A great end to the half for both teams. Army with the long drive. The Aztecs with the kick return to answer. We're tied at 21. Adam Amin, Mac Brown, Paul Carcaterra. So you heard Jeff Munkin's comments. He seemed pretty upset going into halftime. Give me something from his perspective that you might think he'd be saying. Well, he dominated the first half, and he's got a tie game. He really had a chance to take such great advantage of his momentum right before the half because he gets the ball to start the second half. The big plays are killing him. Now, if you're Coach Long at halftime, you've got to get them off the field. And one thing, you're not going to force turnovers, so you better start having those stupid penalties. Let's check in with Paul Carcaterra. Well, Adam, I just caught up with Rocky Long, the San Diego State head coach. He feels both defenses in this matchup are struggling, can't stop each other's run games. He told me specific to the speed option of Army, it's so hard to emulate what they do in terms of their technique and their blocks in bowl practices. Impossible to emulate, he said. It's all about technique. He likes his defense in regards to their effort, but they're not able to shed these blocks. He hasn't seen an offense that runs this type 
of option all season long. We know his history against option teams and his success, but this is a different type of option. It's not the triple option, it's the speed option, Coach Brown. Well, it's very difficult to line up against in practice because you can't get your scout team to show the tight plays that Army are running. We'll see the adjustments that uh, they made for the second half. Walker on the pitch. Couple of yards. Why is it such a big adjustment? What is so difficult about making that adjustment? Well, number one, it's hard to simulate what they do in practice. It's hard to simulate cut blocks and not hurt your guys. But I think we'll see Rocky Long take that extra linebacker out, go back to what they do best. I think he worried so much about giving a different look to Army and Army's adjusted to it so well because it was smart for Coach Monken to cut his play selection down to nine plays. So uh, Rocky Long smart, one of the better def defensive coaches in college football. I think we see him go back and do what they do weekly to play great defense. Bradshaw staying on his feet and his first pass of the day is good for a first down to Cam Harrison and it's the freshman's first career reception. And this is a great defensive call by Coach Long. He's got Cam Kelly back there, ready to sack the quarterback. He got to stay on his upfield hip. You cannot let him get loose and make that first down. Those are the plays you have to make to get Army off the field. That's snap. They have already used five minutes the second half. It's, it's just amazing how they eat the clock. Good run here by Wolfolk. Let's dive into the weeds a little bit here. Give me a little X and O stuff. Leverage. Why is it so important and why is it so impressive for what Army does? Army's got undersized linemen and they get in a low stance, they get really tight splits, and they can get up under your pads. So defensively, you have to have lower pads than they do, and that's a very difficult thing to do because you've got taller defensive linemen when you're San Diego State. But the leverage of them coming off and hitting those creases is, is really impressive. A lot of trap blocking inside, a lot of gap blocking. The other thing that I've noticed today, Adam, is you stop the fullback for a two-yard gain, they all keep their feet moving, and you look up, and it's four and a half. Yeah. And that's huge to them. And I've noticed we've got fans sitting down here in front of us from Army. They get a two-yard gain. They say, yeah, man. <laughs> Texas fans wouldn't have liked that very much for, for two-yard gains. It would have been a little harder for us to handle this offense at Texas. I will say you did have some backs that ran for more than two yards a pop. We, we did. The tenth play of this Army drive is an Ahmad Bradshaw run. Cam Kelly made the stop very close to the sticks at the 42-yard line. Spotted the football seemingly short. I thought it wasn't a very good spot initially. I didn't think so either. His knees must have been down before they reached the ball out because they're not going to, to, to challenge it or take it upstairs. Huge fourth down play again. I think we go quarterback sneak. This time it's Bradshaw again. The line judge on the nearest side of the field looks to be right at or past the sticks. These spots are so key, very key. These, well, you said it earlier too. These are two teams that are going to see a lot of third down and short, fourth down and short. Whoever wins these situations has a very good chance of winning this game. They are. These two teams do not turn it over. They're good in the red zone and they're good on short yardage, both sides of the ball. This is a key spot. I think he made it. First down, Army. Totally depends on the spot where the foot goes of the official. It's really amazing. Wasn't even an index card. It was, uh, <laughs> it was so far away. No index card necessary for this particular it, spot. Slip it in there. 
8.41 left in the third quarter, and Army still got the ball. Already six plus minutes chewed off the clock. Well, and if you're Jeff Horton, the offensive coordinator, or Chapman, the quarterback, Penny, you're going nuts watching that clock run yeah, on the boundary. Right. Wolfolk with a short game. Nice job by Kiava Tazino to undercut Wolfolk. San Diego State has a new defensive coordinator by title, but someone that has been very integral in setting up the defensive game plan for the last couple of years. That's Danny Gonzalez, who has been the safeties coach for a long time under Rocky Long. But this year was given the title of defensive coordinator. Bradshaw has another first down. Down to the 30 yard line. Gonzalez will be headed to Tempe to take the defensive coordinator job under Herm Edwards at Arizona State next season. He is coaching in this bowl game. It's got to be frustrating. You know, we talked with Danny yesterday and, and Rocky as well, and talked to both of them about the defensive game plan. And Rocky Long said, this is the most patient offense I've ever seen, and it's one of the most frustrating offenses I've ever faced. It is. Everything has been straight ahead or full flow till that play, and that was the counter quarterback option back into the boundary. Uh, these guys just, uh, they have a system they believe in, and they really know what they're doing. They execute it well. You know, you mentioned it earlier, Jeff Munkin, a longtime Paul Johnson assistant, where he learned the triple option. He was an assistant at Navy in 2004 when Navy played Rocky Long's New Mexico team in the Emerald Bowl. In that game, Jeff Munkin's running backs put together a 26-play, 14-minute, and 42-second drive going from the end of the third quarter to about two minutes to go in the fourth. Offense for the Aztecs just sitting cold on the bench. Late pitch by Bradshaw, and it goes to Cooper. So they get some of that penalty yardage back. They'll set up about a third down and 10 here. And Adam, let's think the offense for San Diego State hasn't been out there for a long time. There were six minutes left That's in the right. half, then special teams scored. They took a 20-minute break at halftime, and now there's four minutes left to go in the third quarter. So they have been sitting for a long time. Get, got a stretch before you go back out there. Bradshaw to throw. Hit as he throws by Tariq Thompson. Ruling on the field. We see a ruling of incomplete pass or a fumble. San Diego State claiming fumble. Ruling on the field is a fumble recovered by the defense. First down, San Diego State. This will be reviewed, but as it stands right now, it's only the fifth fumble lost by Army Previous all plays season under long. Further review. It's very close, but it does look to me like the arm is coming forward. After review, the quarterback's arm is going forward. It's an incomplete pass. It's fourth down, the 19-yard line. Please reset the game clock. And Army tries the fake field goal with the pitch to Wilson, blown up by Cam Kelly. And San Diego State takes over with this game still tied at 21. Really good defensive play by Kelly. Older senior, he comes up, he feels it, he reads it. Very good instincts, and he makes a good tackle in open field. Jeff Munkin rolled the dice. Cam Kelly shuts it down, and the Aztecs take over. Feels like it's been about 45 minutes of real time or so since we've seen the San Diego State offense on the field. And this drive for a fresh Rashad Penny begins with a six yard run. Could be fresh and stiff. They had to stretch on the <laughs> sidelines. But now you've got tremendous pressure if you're San Diego State to stay on the field. 
You cannot have a three and out. You cannot have a turnover. A lot of pressure on them because they can't give the ball back to Army without a score. Chapman. What a snare by Fred Trevilian. A one-handed grab at the 46-yard line. First down, Aztecs. Well, their defense has stepped up and made some plays. Their offense has to now. What a play. Really good coverage by Riley, the best cover corner. And uh, Trevilian just grabs up one hand catch. What a spectacular play. That one may make Sports Center. That could be a top 10 hit right there. Trevilian a little banged up, though, after that play, holding on to that shoulder. Here goes Penny again. Let's check in with Paul. Well, Adam, San Diego State will want to spread Army out and use their speed, but leading receiver Michael Holder in that first half, he left the game, left ankle injury, had the left ankle taped up. We saw him only for a play on this drive. He's back on the sideline, but his speed and his receiving skills against this defense would be much needed for the Aztecs. And Paul, you know, I'll defer to Mac here. I wonder when they open up the playbook even further, if at all. They Don't just, to open they up the just opened it up. <laughs> <laughs> A hole opened up instead for the third Rashad Penny touchdown. This guy is something else. Great blocking by the left side of that young line. You've got Deshaun Dixon that stepped up in Romer, and those guys opened up such a hole. And when you've got eight, nine guys around the line of scrimmage and you break the line of scrimmage, there's no deep safeties back there to run down the running back. This guy's got seven carries, 177 yards, and three touchdowns, a bowl record. He is as advertised. The Mountain West Offensive Player of the Year, the leading rusher in the country. He's lived up to the billing so far in the postseason. When Rashad Penny was a freshman, he called his mom Desiree to say that he wanted to come home. And she told him, if you come home, I don't know where you're going, because you're not staying here. That forced Rashad Penny to mature very, very quickly. A guy who came in, at San Diego State at 190 pounds, a speed back. Now has set an Armed Forces Bowl record with 177 yards and three touchdowns. He is as advertised. Adam, he said yesterday, he's studying communications. He's a really good student. Said he wants to take our job in, in sports casting. I think it's going to be a while. <laughs> so now it's Ahmad Bradshaw's turn. Flips the pitch to Kel Walker. Picks up about a yard and a half. Third meeting all time between San Diego State and Army. Got to win in the fourth quarter. 28-21. Downtown Fort Worth, Texas for the 15th Armed Forces Bowl. The, junior the offense has controlled the first half completely, and now the defenses of both teams have stepped up and forced turnovers in the second half. Strong run by Darnell Wolfolk. Set up third down and short for Army. Adam Amin, Mac Brown, Paul Carcaterra, our great crew here at Amon G. Carter Stadium in Fort Worth, Texas, the home of the TCU Horn Frogs. 15th annual Lockheed Martin Armed Forces Bowl. Army sitting at 9 and 3, seeking just its second ever 10 win season. San Diego State trying to become a Winner of 11 games for the third straight season. First down, Connor Slumka. And the top rushing attack in the nation has another first down. Coach Monken told us that his offense is an equalizer. It keeps the ball, it keeps the other team off the field. But he said they can't have penalties, they can't have turnovers, and they have to finish drives. They didn't make a fourth and one in the first half and they had the penalty that stopped the drive earlier. A 
just picturing you red in the face in the middle of that Austin, Texas sun screen. It just makes me, makes me smile more than anything else. I did scream a few times at some <laughs> officials. One, once or twice. It was always with a good heart. Well-intentioned, yes. It was well-intentioned. Well-intentioned cussing out of the official. Well, you're, you're trying to take up for your team. That's what Understood. you're You're fighting for those guys. And the center, it comes to, I said, you can't, you're not getting to the second level. I can't. <laughs> He's holding me every time. Good first down play for Army. Push here by Wolfolk. And he's close to the sticks. Ball control was going to be so important in this game. Time of possession, rushing yards, right around the pace where Army would like it, but they are trailing in this game. One thing I didn't realize watching tape is the yardage that they get after the play should be stopped. Their right. offensive linemen keep their feet moving. The fullback the same. Another first down for Wolfolk. Let's check in with Paul. Coach Brown, you just mentioned earlier with your conversation with Coach Munkin that the ultimate equalizer is the run game because of the ball control. I'm watching Rashad Penny, the nation's leading rusher. He is getting antsy. He wants back in this game. Paul, it's a great point because they can't score. It's the best defense is the best offense. The first year we were at Texas, we weren't very good on, uh, on defense, but we had Ricky Williams. He was our best defensive player, I always said, because when he's on the field, the defense isn't. And he kept the offenses on the bench, just like the Army offense is keeping San Diego State's best player on that bench right now. Davidson to the 27 yard line. Two excellent programs. Army competing in its seventh ever bowl game. San Diego State in its eighth consecutive bowl game. A program record. And yeah, Army Munkin and Rocky Long have done fabulous work with these two programs. Now, Army's only three for eight with field goals, so people that would question why he faked it a few minutes ago, so I think we see him go four downs. Ahmad Bradshaw bursts loose for the touchdown. So much for the four downs. <laughs> Don't need it. <laughs> Go ahead and score. Ahmad Bradshaw busted through. His second touchdown of the game. He's got over 130 rushing yards now. Low snap handled well by Zach Potter. Blake Wilson ties this game. The two teams traded takeaways. Army's defense came up clutch. Alex Aukerman with the interception after a great tip by Jalen McClinton. It sets all of it up for another Bradshaw touchdown and sets us up for a great finish. There's a single mother raising Ahmad in a very tough part of the south side of Chicago. When Ahmad was in elementary school, Kizzy actually went back to school at DeVry University to get her degree, and she and Ahmad would compare grades when Ahmad was in elementary school. It was a great motivational tool for Ahmad Bradshaw. As we said, a single mom on Chicago's south side, Ahmad saw so many terrible things. His friend Jameer shot and killed during a dice game in 2012. His cousin Daquan shot and killed at a house party during Thanksgiving weekend. So Kizzy moved Ahmad all around, finally got him to the suburb of Glenwood when he was 12 years old to get him away from the horrible things that Ahmad was seeing on the south side of Chicago. We got a chance to talk with Kizzy earlier today, how proud she must be of her son and what he has been able to do. Great return by Rashad Penny, just shy of the 40. Good run by Penny. Take it all the way inside the 30 yard line.
Penny to the 24 yard line tackled by Kenneth Brinson. Army's coaches told us the only way they could win this ball game is keep Penny on the bench. At this point, Army's run 76 plays to San Diego State's 24. Army has 26 first downs. So Army has two more first downs than San Diego State has played. It's incredible. And yet, here we are, 28 apiece, and the Aztecs have it near the fringe of the red zone. Penny, stiff arm. And he's out of bounds near the sticks. Over 200 rushing yards, Mac. And there's two things. He's fresh, because he hadn't carried it very many times. And the longer the game goes on, the great players get better. Look at that list. 200 rushing yards in five consecutive games. Rashad Penny joined some very exclusive company. Washington. Finding some cracks. Picks up about five or so. It's that penalty yardage back. Sometimes you see the anomalies. Just 25 Aztec plays. Army has more first downs. But a tie game, and Rashad Penny is back in. Second down. Penny near the 11 yard line. Chopped down by Brinson. A bowl record at the Armed Forces Bowl for Penny. Three touchdowns. Tie game 28 apiece. Penny in the game for a huge third down here for San Diego State. Holder's got a tight split at the top. It is Penny. And that second effort by Rashad Penny gives San Diego State another first down. When you've got Penny, your third down and six call is off tackle. Isn't that incredible? It is. Coach Rowe used to say, when you throw it, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. <laughs> That's kind of been this game. <laughs> the bad plays have been in the air. Kind of what we expected, though, right? Two of the great rushing attacks in the country with the leading rusher in college football in Rashad Penny. Three tight ends. I think we're running it. Penny. Banging forward into the end zone for the lead on his fourth touchdown of the Armed Forces Bowl. In his swan song at San Diego State, Rashad Penny has put on a show. And we got to give a lot of credit to 15 Nick Bowden, that fullback, because he has cleaned things out up inside. This young offensive line's back for the long haul. And we have to also credit this young man. He's a great player. He's going to be an NFL guy. He could have very well sat out of this bowl game. Not only did he not sit out of this game, but he has been a superstar in this game on special teams and in the running game. Unbelievable performance. Two guys we talked about in the open, Penny and Bradshaw, and Bradshaw's got a chance to tie it up. Cal Walker. Solid return. So this is kind of where you want to be, right? If you're Jeff Munkin. Bradshaw hit hard by a linebacker who has really stepped up today in Kiaba Tazino. Linebackers have made a lot of plays for San Diego State. They've been out there a long time. They're tired. We'll see if they can tackle here in the fourth quarter. Adam Hall, the strength coach at San Diego State, actually played for us at Texas as a quarterback. He does a tremendous job. But these guys have been out there for a lot of plays. Wolfolk. Good second effort. Forward progress may have enough for the first down at the 39. And indeed, that is the case. Something I noticed on that playback was quick penetration by San Diego State 
and that's not always a good thing against an Army offense. But that may be part of being tired because the coaches told us they did not want to penetrate. They wanted to stay in their gaps. And you lose some discipline when you get a little tired. Bradshaw to throw. Well short. Looking for John Trainer out of the backfield. There is a reason they don't throw it much. Well, Jeff Munkin said Ahmad Bradshaw is not a great thrower, and he's willing to admit that. But they were wide open. That's the other thing. They said they, they want 20 yard plays. This will be Army's 80th play in this ballgame. My goodness. Just 61 pass plays. They've won three games without completing one this year. Right back to what they do best. Andy Davidson to the first down marker. Hey, for the young running backs out there that are watching plays, watch these fullbacks run after contact. Right there, he runs through a leg, but now he's in the group. He keeps those legs churning and gets two more yards. What a great message to you young backs that need something to get better. Bradshaw somehow slithers through traffic. Lomax finally closes him out after six yards. San Diego State substituting. They have to be tired after 81 plays. That's what he does. He's got so much patience. He bounces outside. He sees a little crease. He turns up inside. He turns up maybe a one-yard loss into a five-yard game. Bob looks on. Bradshaw thought about throwing it. Instead, runs it inside the 30. Minute 45 remain. We've got two plays for the ball game, Adam. Yep. Third down coming up here. That was a good decision. They were open on the naked bootleg. He takes it and runs it. Now you've got a manageable fourth, more manageable fourth down. This is uh, third and fourth down is the ball game. Bradshaw stays on his feet and Bradshaw's got the first down to the 15. 116 remains. Once again, patience. Looks like there's nothing there on his loaded option. He turns up, should be tackled, probably some tired tacklers. Turns up, big play. Nothing there for Bradshaw. Tariq Thompson made the stop at the line of scrimmage. Army's already had three fourth quarter comeback drives this year against Buffalo, Temple, and that classic against Navy two weeks ago. Walker on the edge. Walker, first down and goal for Army. 39 seconds remaining. You got to remember, you got two timeouts in your pocket. No rush, seemingly, for the Black Knights. You're also thinking about your two point play at this time. Bradshaw lunging towards the one. Maybe you use a timeout here if you're Jeff Munkin, and that is indeed the case. With 22 seconds on the clock. AV, plenty at stake for these two teams. Army has only had one 10 win season. That was back in 1996. Meanwhile, San Diego State trying to join a very elite group of teams that have won 11 or more in three straight years. Second down and goal from the one yard line. Do you go quarterback sneak because it's been so successful the two times they've run it in this ball game. Fullback dive. Touchdown Army. Darnell Wolfolk. It's a one point game.
And all the Army fans, you can hear them chanting, two, go for two. Army down by one. Gunning for two in the lead with 18 seconds to go. I think they put it in the quarterback's hand with a loaded option. Walker to the edge for the lead. Ran the sweep. seconds remain and Army has the lead on the gutsy two-point conversion call for Jeff Munkin. Well, and good for Coach Munkin. He went to the play that's been good all night. He didn't go to one they've used all the time, but they've used the toss about five times. Every time it's gotten more than three yards. If I'm Blake Wilson, I'm kicking this thing out of bounds. Well, you got Jawan Washington, who's already returned to kick for a touchdown in this game. You got arguably the most dangerous return man in the country. I'm kicking it out of bounds. Yeah, look at these blocks. Got the big guys on the corner. Great block on the corner by Trader. Walker stretches it to the end zone. What a call. What a play. What a gutsy call. Good job. Now, we've been here before with 18 seconds left in the half, and we kicked it off to Penny, and he scored. Or Washington. I think with Penny leading him. So yep. you're right. I don't let anybody touch this one. Touch it. So if again, if I'm Blake Wilson, rather Nick Schrag is out there now this time, not Blake Wilson. They're going to bring their punter out there for the kickoff. Well, and you have to kick it far enough. You don't want them to have a hail mary shot. So or, you've or got to shot get to get into field goal range. Shot exactly. to get into field goal range. You've got to kick it deep enough, but keep it out of your fast guy's hands. They've got Washington in the middle and Penny deep. I kick it to a tight end. Towards the sideline, it oh. is grabbed inbounds by Washington. And there goes Jawan Washington. Touchdown saving tackle by Riley. At the 40-yard line, still 12 seconds remain, and one timeout for San Diego State. That was one of those I was about to say, no, let it go out of bounds. I said, oh no, good job. <laughs> that was a no, no, no. Yeah. Yes, yes, that was that type of play. What a tackle by Riley. John Barron has hit a 50-yarder in his career, a 43-yarder this year. So you get to about the 25 or 30, you might be in his field goal range. This game is not over. They're playing man, one free high. They're coming after him. Chapman under pressure, flips it forward, incomplete. And there's nobody there. Would that be an intentional grounding call with Alex Aukerman bringing the pressure? There is a flag out there. San Diego State could avoid a 10 second runoff here with a timeout, but they would have to use that timeout. Potential grounding, offense number 10. Loss of down at the spot of the foul. San Diego State has chosen to take a timeout to avoid the 10 second subtraction. Timeout. So they're still alive in this game, but what's this third does final now, timeout? What this does, that takes away the middle of the field, essentially, for San Diego State to try to get into field goal range. Yeah, and with seven seconds, you're going to have to sling it deep. Yeah. You, you really are. This was so much pressure, the, the first real pressure put on by Ackerman, and uh, that's a guy comes in at 210 pounds. He ends up 260 pounds. He's what the Army's all about, uh, forcing a quick throw. Uh, Chapman's a good decision maker. He's smart. Didn't have anybody to throw it to. Knew he couldn't take a sack, and he got it out of his hands, and nobody's there. So now, in seven seconds, I don't think you can get a ball downfield enough for a field goal. You've got to take a shot, hope for a Hail Mary, and hope for a miracle to happen. Here we go. Back up, Army. Yep. It could be the final play of the Armed Forces Bowl. We we'll go underneath. Hook and lateral. Time has expired. Here is Chapman. Gonna have to sling it across the field. It is taken away by Riley. Army wins.
A thriller in Fort Worth, Texas. An incredible game. And Army has a 10 win season for just the second time in its long history behind Ahmad Bradshaw. Tonight's Capital One player of the game. 180 rushing yards, two touchdowns, and his head coach, Jeff Bucket, is with Paul Carcaterra on the field. Coach, this game was amazing. You went for two. You decided with conviction to roll the offense out right away. Why? Well, I think they were going to set a world record for yards per play. I mean, that 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 Penny kid, what a player. And, and uh, I just felt like we needed to win it in regulation. I didn't want to give him a chance to get the ball back again. Describe the biggest challenge facing Rashad Penny. His 200 yards, five games in a row, that's a national record. He's an incredible player, and we're very fortunate to win the game. We did a bunch of things, especially on special teams that could have hurt us. But, you know, our guys just kept believing, found a way, made some plays, and, and came out with a victory. Unbelievable. Just so proud of our team. You know, Coach, you took this program from the bottom now. Only the second 10-win season in program history seniors like Ahmad Bradshaw describe what they've meant to this program the leadership that this senior class has provided for this program unreal the, the just the trust and the commitment and the love that they've had for these guys on this team to represent West Point in our United States Army just incredible I couldn't be more proud of them they're a great group of guys we're gonna miss them amazing effort congratulations thanks a lot beat Nate classic to finish it with beat Navy, which they've done two consecutive years after losing 14 straight. They took home the Commander in Chiefs trophy for the first time in over two decades and for just the second time in its program's history, going back to 1890. Army has a 10 win season. For Mac Brown, Paul Carcaterra, our excellent crew here in Fort Worth, Adam Amin saying so long. Our Capital One post game trophy ceremony is over on ESPN3. Army wins for our crew so long, Adnan, Joey, and Jesse.